I never thought I would get the chance to personally experience such a location, even if it is just for eight months. To be able to sit, have coffee or tea, look west, and let the lake reveal its secrets about light is a photographer's dream come true. There is a difference how the sky looks in the middle of land compared to how it looks over a body of water that has a completely flat horizon. There's just so much more of it. The photographer's palette just got bigger. Some days, I sit and marvel at the beauty of the rock that makes up the stone wall surrounding the fireplace. It took me about five months to notice that the stonemason had laid out a specific message in the rock wall. I don't know if you can spot it yet, but it shows the exact location of the house, as if it were on a map. If you're from Ohio, you may have already found it. And what I find most intriguing is that this stonemason, this free builder, free man, chose with his or her own will to honor the ancient esoteric principles of as above, so below, and hidden in plain sight through the building of a simple stone wall. Whether he or she knew it or not, they were contributing to the magic of this house. My skeptical mind screamed coincidence until I noticed the sliver of stone representing Catawba Island pointing to the location of the house where the two rocks meet.